Number 49, using data from table 7.5, calculate the daily energy needs of a person who sleeps for seven hours, walks for two hours, attends classes for four hours, cycles for two hours, sits relaxed for three hours, and studies for six hours. Okay. And studying consumes energy at the same rate as sitting in class. All right. So um, let's take each of these in pieces. So let's first do the sleep. All right, energy for sleep. And we're going to be using, you know, they're giving us time values. We also have the table on the upper right, which gives us power values in watts. So we're probably going to be using this particular equation on the right-hand side. Right? Well, that tells us that, that the power is equal to the work divided by the time. So to find the energy used in a particular process like sleep, we need to know how long we're sleeping and the power needed to sleep or keep us alive during sleep, at least. So uh, let's highlight sleeping up here at the upper right. So it consumes 83 watts of power. So power is 83. Actually, you know what? Why don't we just solve this thing for work first? So we notice that work is equal to power times time. So therefore, the work will be the power of 83 watts multiplied by the time. Now realize that it's in hours, but we need the value in seconds. So all we need to do, conversion between hour and second, is just multiply hour by 3600. Okay, so here it's seven hours, right? but I'm just going to multiply that by 3600. All right, so this would be the watts of sleeping. Okay, oh, excuse me, ah, the W's always mess me up. You got W for watts and then W for work. And anyway, uh, the W here represents work. So 83 times 7 times 3,600. So we have a value of 2.09 times 10 raised to the 3, excuse me, 6, and that is in terms of joules. All right, so this is the energy needed to maintain uh, your body during sleep. All right, so what's next? Uh, walking. Right, walk for two hours. Okay, so let's walk. So we're going to walk for two hours. And again, same thing. I'm going to use the work is equal to the power times time. So work is the power needed to walk. And where is walking in the table? Walking at five kilometers per hour requires 280 watts of power. So this is 280 multiplied by the time. It says two hours, but remember, we got to multiply that by 3,600. So the work here for walking will be... 20, uh, 280 times 2 times 3,600. So this one works out to be 2.02, .02, considering rounding, times 10 raised to the 6 joules. All right, so that's for the walk. Now, let's go to the uh, attend classes, right, for four hours. Okay, so your 10 classes, what do you do in class? Sitting in class, there it is. So we just sit down in class, right? So here it is. It says sitting in class, 210 uh, watts. Actually, that's kind of amazing, right? Sitting, Look at this. Sitting in class has a value of 210, and sitting at rest has a value of 120. That's assuming that you're actively involved in class, actually, right? Obviously, that your brain is working, but let's be honest. Most of us are sitting at rest in class, right? Including myself. So... Um, but let's just use the value of sitting in class here and actively thinking about what's going on in the lecture. So here we're going to be uh, for classes. Again, same thing. Work is equal to power times time. So the work here will be equal to the power, which was 210 multiplied by the time. And it said you're in class for four hours. So take the four hours and multiply it by 3,600. All right. And then we will find the work or the energy, right? So 210 times 4 times 3600. So we got 3.02. So 3.02 .02 times 10 raised to the 6th. And again, that's in terms of joules. Okay. So that's for class. What's next? Now we're going to cycle for two hours. I'm getting tired doing this problem, right? Just thinking about this, <laughs> just thinking about this day is getting me, uh, making my brain do a lot of work. So here, let's cycle. Okay, again, work is equal to power times time. So the work is equal to the power of cycling. So we got to find the value in the table. Cycling, it says over here, is going to be 700 watts. So this is 700 times now two hours. Oh, my God. 
All right, that's some fit person. So uh, let's do two hours times 3,600. Okay, so the useful work being done here is going to be 700 times 2 times 3,600. So this comes out to be 5.04 5 .04 times, again, 10 raised to the 6th. Uh, and that's in joules. Okay, let's keep it going. What's next? So now we're going to sit relaxed for three hours. Okay, so I'll do sitting down here. Okay, I'm going to have to squeeze it all in. Now remember, work is equal to power times time, so I'm just going to plug in the numbers, okay? The power for just sitting down, as we highlighted before, is going to be up here, sitting at rest, 120. So we've got 120 watts multiplied by now 3 hours times 3,600. All right, so the amount of work done to just sit down is 120 times 3 times 3,600. So this is 1 point, well, considering rounding 1.30 times 10 to the sixth, and that is joules again. Okay, great. And hopefully, finally, we get down to study. All right, and we're gonna study for six hours. All right, so here's study. And it says that studying consumes the energy at the same rate as sitting in class. So here we have the work is equal to the sitting in class value of 210 watts multiplied by six hours times 30, let me put the two decimals there, times the 3,600. So the work here to study is now going to be 210 times 6 times 3,600. So 4.54, so 4.54 times 10 raised to the, what do we got, 6th again, and that's in terms of joules. Okay, great. So now that we calculated everything, what do you think we're going to do from here? We're basically just going to, to find the total energy, right? We're just going to sum it all together. All right, so the, I'll do the total work here. We're just going to add them all, okay? So 2.09 times 10 to the 6th uh, plus 2.02. .02. Actually, you know what? Let's just forget about doing all scientific. So 2.09 plus 2.02 .02 plus 3.02 .02 plus 5.04. Uh, plus 1.30 plus 4.54. All right, so it'd be 18.01, or just 18, 18.0 times 10 to the sixth, which would be the same thing as saying 1.80 times 10 to the seventh, and that is in terms of joules, okay? And they didn't ask us any particular unit, so this should be acceptable. All right, if you wanted to, you can convert that, you know, to kilocalories, if you so wanted to, you would divide that value, just maybe to give you a reference point, divide that value by uh, 4,184. So we get 1.8 times 10 to the seventh, divided by 4184. This works out to about 4,000 calories, okay? As I said, a very active, really 4,300, right? A very active student indeed, okay? Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. That would help us out tremendously. I thank you very much in advance for that, and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.